Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man, also known as Prophet Howard. The channel is No Metrics, No Simping, All Subjects Channel. Now, one way people simp is by letting people guilt trip you into things. What do I mean by this? Goes along the subject matter. And as I'm working, I'm going to talk about this. You know, this one ain't going to be that long, I promise you. If you are a man in your late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s, are you a dirty old man for liking young women? <clears throat> are you a dirty old man, like people try to say? Like these young dudes who ain't got nothing going for them. Like these women who got all this baggage. We're gonna talk about some of that baggage. Like your uh, other counterparts, guys your age, who just may not have it like you physically. Are you a dirty old man for liking younger women? And the answer is H E double hockey stick. No. Heck no. People try to say that, and this was funny. When it's a woman, she's a cougar. She's a cougar. She still got it. Stella got her groove back. When it's a guy, you dirty old man. That, my friends, brothers, sisters, enemies, is guilt tripping. It's guilt tripping. It's guilt tripping. Let me tell you something. What What is a guy supposed to like? Not saying they all do it, but a lot of these women, when they start getting up in age, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, they be the reason why, yeah, they be the reason for the physical malfunction sometimes, if you will, of their mates. And then some of them accuse their mates for having that problem, and he really doesn't have that problem. Like I, I try to, I use the analogy of a car. If you have a used car, which a uh, older man, if he hasn't been restored through physical health, eating right, sleeping right, working out, see y'all be letting y'all little wives and girlfriends keep y'all from, and be, and you can't blame them. You need to alpha up and you need to start putting people in their place or letting them go or whatever you got to do. But. You start neglecting your need for physical health. And the people want to say, oh, he old this, old that. Old is what you make. I just saw on YouTube, uh, they say the dude was 70 years old. He was doing pull-ups. He was flipping all kinds of stuff. He had an eight-pack. You know, it's what you do. You're supposed to be working out every step of the way. Stretching your everything from your head to your toes, lifting weights, shadow boxing, whatever you got to do. And I ain't as tight as I was in my 20s. You know, I was pretty tight. I only had 6% body fat. But then came the drinking, then came the eating, all this stuff. Then came the not working out, the stress levels of life. And here you go. Like, I'm not a slop, like a, a Sasquatch or nothing, but, you know, I ain't, my muscles don't, ain't as defined as they once were when I used to play football and stuff. But you're not a dirty old man for liking young women, man. And don't let nobody tell you that. You 40, you 45, and you are more attracted to women 25 and you work with a lot of women that's 45 and what are they I'm tired I'm not, I don't, uh, my husband wants to do something like that I told him I ain't doing nothing I'm going to sleep blah, 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 blah. and what does it lead to Near. you have to start a car you have to put oil in a car you have to uh, maintain a car well a man and his sexual segs you will prowess. Shout out to Coach Greg.
for the censorship words is you can't be with somebody that's trying to have sex once a year. Or guess what? Ah, oh, baby, I'm ready now. You done went all year without doing nothing. Or let's say some of these guys, they result to prime and masturbance, we'll just call it. Um, and now, oh, I'm ready. I'm just you. And now you you not ready. You want to go now. You want to go to sleep now. You are thinking about other things. Well, should have been starting that car up, ladies. Oh yeah. And now you lying to your friends. You lying to your friend. Then your friends be looking side eyed when you get cheated on, cause you was telling them, girl, he having that problem. He having that issue. You wasn't telling them how you hadn't had sex with them for seven months. You wasn't telling them how you were arguing, being disrespectful, and then you weren't doing nothing. Then out of the blue, you want to do stuff without the fourth number play. It's, it's almost like just starting a car up. It's like starting a 2007 uh, Impala or something up. And just driving. You ain't let it warm up. You ain't let it. What's going to happen? It's going to stall. And more than likely, it's going to probably cut off. And guess who fought it was? Yours. So your friend's looking at you like. Because he rocking people. Now you talking about. You going to take everything he got. I'm going to take him for everything he got. You ain't think looking at what you were doing. You ain't looking at, see, let me tell you guys something, man. Never let a woman control the sex narrative. If she tries to control it, you got to check her in. Because they not going to stop wanting you to stick to them. They're going to want you to stick to them and only them. So that means you go without. That's like, that's kind of like devaluing something. It's like devaluing a person. Where you take a person that was doing things segs you will know, things before you even came along and now you want to reward them and punish them with segs something they was already doing no nah, man don't let them do it and then they'll be 41 42 43 53 and they'll be yo yo feet look better than some of theirs. Well, my feet don't look better than my wife, but I'm Tom. Just don't stop. Y'all need to stop thinking everything I say is 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 personal. Some of this stuff is just wisdom that developed over time from stuff that I saw and heard. In fact, most of it, most of it is stuff that developed over time. Before stuff I saw and heard and these people a lot of these guys are angry out here with they driving because they ain't getting none because they are married to people who think sex doesn't matter anymore 37 years old and, and your wife done retired from sex if she retired from sex she shouldn't be your wife they say, well, I'm just, well, my knee be hurt. Oh, my back be hurt. You need to tell her, well, if you, if you that broke up, then you need to be in a hospital, not married. You need to be in a hospital. Oh, oh, my elbow be hurting. Like when I put my arms down, my elbow, get the, anyway, y'all, this is getting kind of longer than I thought, so I'm going to shut it down. You not, if you, I'm 47. Can't nobody tell me, oh, you, you a dirty old man. If I'm walking up the street and I see a attractive 27 year old, 25 year old, come on now. Oh, you a dirty old man. You a dirty old man. But when they do it to older men, are oh, she getting their bag? Like when they when they be using men, oh she getting her back. 
But when when men use them, oh, he a dirty old man. He should be with a woman who can't even do nothing. Can't even do nothing. Let me tell you something. This is how I know I'm right. I can go from the Bible. Sarah had a baby when she was 99 years old. So the question is, what was different back then? What was different? They was humans, we humans. So she had a baby when she was 99 years old. Or something like that. Which means that Abraham had to rise, if you know what I mean, to even impregnate her. Now, how old were they when she got pregnant? 98? What changed? You say, oh, that story ain't true. Something changed. Something changed. Where in the scripture, they were having like 40 kids and now people have complications with one and two. And now that right there, I don't think it's them. I think it's a little conspiracy, little, little mad scientists and evil people doing little stuff behind the scenes, trying to keep the population down. But anyway, that's kind of off subject. This is the truth, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. You're not a dirty old man for... You let's say you're 36 and you like women that are 21, 22. Don't let nobody guilt trip you. In fact, stop putting these, as I talked about on the last video, stop putting these people in your business, man. It ain't none of their business. Man. People be in other people's business. Some of these women, they, they, uh, 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 put a chastity belt on you. I'm sorry, you two. Uh, I ain't I ain't doing nothing against community, if they could. But thanks for watching.